Hi, it's Annette. So happy that you're here. I'm creating these simple and lovely cards with Pinkfresh Studio Keep Going Stamp and Die Set and the premium dye inks. I cut the card base from watercolor paper with diagonal stitch rectangle dies. I am using my Misty to stamp the lovely floral image from Keep Going Stamp Set. I have to stamp three times as the watercolor paper is textured, but the Misty stamping tool is a great help. I am drawing two circles around the upper and the lower part of the image, so these circles guide me when watercoloring. I will erase them later, so I draw it really light and I try not to watercolor over it. If you watercolor over these pencil lines, you cannot erase them later. I am stamping with the inks on clear acrylic blocks with the pink and the yellow shades. I'm using a watercolor brush to color the circles around the stamped flower. I wet the paper first and then I just let the color flow. Don't overwork it, just, just let it flow. I like it really when it is not solid. The shades light and dark inside of circle is beautiful. If wet, the two colors, the pink and the yellow, mix in the middle, creating some orange. I love this effect, however, I will later cover it with a bow. Don't miss the splatters, it is so important for me. I erased the pencil circles and glued my sentiment at the top of the pink circle. Some jewels as finishing touch and a lovely bow, which I created with Pinkfresh Studio Artistic Bow Dyes. Don't worry if some paint cuts inside the image, just use a white gel pen to cover it. like these simple and lovely cards. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.